Okay, so this video tutorial is going to look through correlation. Now, correlation looks at whether there is a relationship between two variables. So, for example, in this um, condition we've got, we've got number of goals scored as one variable and also each person's anxiety score. And we would like to see if there's a relationship between the number of goals they score and how they score on an anxiety scale. So to do this we need to run a correlation. Now the most important thing at this stage is to understand that this is a Pearson's correlation. So it's only useful if the data is parametric, like this data is. Again, if you're not sure whether your data is parametric or non-parametric, then you need to go and check. And you can do this by looking in your notes, reading through your lecture slides, or having a look in a textbook. Okay, so if you know your data is parametric, like this is, we can run a correlation. Correlations are really easy to run. Again, as usual with most statistical tests, at the top of the page you click data and over on the far right you click data analysis. From there you just need to select correlation, there it is, click OK and as usual we get a box come up. Now this box is slightly different from the t-test boxes. In the input range you only get one choice. Normally you would get to choose two columns. Now you still highlight the same as before but this time you highlight both columns at the same time. So ignore the labels, just highlight all of the data you want to compare. Okay, um, if you do highlight the labels, you just tick the box that says labels in the first row. I haven't, so I'm going to leave that blank. Okay. Lastly underneath, output options, as usual, I'm going to click output range, and I'm going to select an area I'd like my result. Okay, I push enter twice, and my result table comes up. The good thing about correlations is that you get a really brief results table and you can see here that comparing column 1 and column 2, which is what I wanted to look at, gives me a correlation coefficient of minus 0.08. Um, okay, now that's your R value and again that number on its own probably doesn't mean a lot but what you need to do with that R value is a number of things. Um, you can have a look in a coaching textbook or statistics textbook and it will tell you how to interpret the number but quite simply we need to look if it's positive or negative because that tells us about the relationship we look at the number itself because that tells us how strong the relationship is and then to work out if it's significant we need to compare it to a correlation coefficient table which can usually be found in an appendix of a statistics book but in terms of today we've run a correlation and we've calculated the correlation coefficient is minus 0.08